Hello there, friend. Do you have a space where people leave comments and you also have access to moderating tools like deleting and banning? Consider this an invitation to treat that space like your very own digital living room. If someone comes into your home and acts like an asshole, you can and should kick them out. They have every right to be an asshole, but you have every right to kick them the fuck out of your living room. I first had this epiphany over on the Snark Squad when we were recapping Buffy the Vampire Slayer and developing some rather unpopular opinions about the show. What started out as this very fun space where we were all chatting about this 10 year old TV show grew really heated as reactions to our critiques of the show started to get very personal. This was actively affecting my life and mental health. I created a filter in Gmail so that the comments would skip the inbox and I could try to wait to deal with it when I was in a better headspace. But uh, even so, when I did sit down to respond to all of these comments, it was a source of significant anxiety. In our internal email chain, we had this whole back and forth about one particular commenter, the whole thing, but one person in particular. And I forget at what point we finally decided to ban her, but I do remember all of us being really nervous about it, like whether or not this was an okay thing to do. There is a very fair concern about closing yourself off to critique and criticism. That is valid and worth engaging with, honestly, but anybody who has to be an asshole to deliver their criticism is not offering up that critique in good faith. A critique that cannot be given without a helping of cruelty is not about an open exchange of ideas. There is thoughtful critique and then there is intent to harm, and you are under no obligation to engage with the latter. When we did finally ban this woman, it was fucking liberating. Like, the realization that we didn't have to put up with her shit was life-changing. I've been thinking about this a lot lately as trudging through the sociology comments has been a significant part of my year, uh, especially if we add the time spent thinking about it to that tally. I only attempt to moderate for a short period of time before I just let that space get eaten by the weeds, which is also a legit approach. I know there are some people who basically just say, hey, the comments on everything I do eventually turn into a fucking hellscape, so proceed with caution. That's also fair. But for me, when I am moderating, it's a lot of good faith, bad faith. Like, is this a legitimate critique or is this just someone here to be an asshole? And in some sense, I suppose that's arbitrary, but I am not a government agency. I am a person moderating a comment section. I am a person deciding how I am going to engage with other people and let them engage with me. The thing is, these spaces are ours. Snark Squad in particular, where we actively pay money to run that thing. Setting aside any arguments I might make about what constitutes earnest discourse, we get to make the rules for our own living rooms. The space below this video belongs to me and YouTube. YouTube's got their own set of rules and policies, but the platform has given me a set of tools with which to moderate this space at my discretion. And this goes for everyone in that position. These spaces belong, at least in part, to you. You get to Decide who gets to hang out in your living room. You do not owe anyone a fraction of that space. You do not owe anyone anything. It is your fucking living room. Maybe you already knew that, but just in case you are struggling with it, consider this permission or an opportunity to reframe the way that you think about that space. If you just can't deal with it at all, you are also totally free to just disengage. But another possibility might be reaching out to a friend and asking them to moderate the space for you. Or I also find that it is a little bit easier when there's a layer of removal. So maybe trading with a friend, like I'll moderate your stuff and you moderate mine kind of deal. The key takeaway here though, is that the fact that you make something on the internet does not entirely your audience to anything from you. Take care of your living room and more importantly yourself in whatever way you need to. Okay, bye!